Hello students, warm welcome to the Communication Engineering Lab. I am Ms. L. Magdalene Trace, Assistant Professor from EC Department. Today's lab session, we are going to study the performance of sampling theorem. So sampling is mainly used to convert any analog signal into discrete time signal. The sampling theorem states that if the sampling rate of any pulse modulation system is greater than or equal to twice the maximum frequency signal, then the original signal can be recovered at the receiver with minimum distortion. That performance we are going to verify practically. So the components required for the verification of sampling theorem are CRO, two audio oscillator, one for the message signal and the second one for the carrier signal. And the next component needed is linear IC power supply. We are going to verify the sampling theorem by using IC741. Okay? So the connections are given as per the circuit diagram. So here we are giving two inputs and the input what we are selected here is a sine wave. So the first audio, audio oscillator is used for generating carrier signal and the second audio oscillator is used for generating message signal. So carrier signal as you know it is a high frequency signal. So here I am selecting the carrier signal for example as 1000 hertz and message signal I have selected as 200 hertz. Now we are going to verify sampling theorems that is we are going to calculate how many number of samples generated at the output. The number of samples is calculated using the formula Fs divided by Fn where Fs is the frequency of the carrier signal, Fn is the frequency of the message signal. For example, here I have selected the frequency of carrier signal as 1000 hertz and frequency of the message signal as 200 hertz. So the number of samples produced at the output will be 1000 divided by 200, it is 5. So you can see the output at the CRO. Here I have used two channels, one channel, channel 1 is connected across the output and channel 2 is connected across the input, that is the message signal. So we can see that within one cycle of sine wave, the number of samples produced is 5. So I am calculating from here to here, this is one cycle, this peak to this peak. So we can count the number of samples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So like this 5 samples are produced. So we have verified the sampling theorem. Now I am changing the frequency to 400 hertz. The message signal frequency I am changing into 400 hertz. Now we can adjust this time period, can adjust the amplitude. Now I have reduced the frequency of carrier signal from 1000 to 800 hertz. Okay? And message signal frequency I have kept it as constant. So 800 divided by 200, the answer will be 4. So the number of samples produced within one cycle of sine wave will be 4. We can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 samples are produced. So in the first case, we verified the sampling theorem for 5 samples and the second case, we have verified the sampling theorem for 4 samples. Like this, we can change both the frequency and we can tabulate the reading. 